Hi, my fellow YouTubians. Um, Caitlin, 0120, uh, is doing a contest right now. She recently put up a video with her 10 favorite uh, Cary Grant movies. And I have seen shockingly few Cary Grant movies since she's offering a uh, box set DVD of five Cary Grant movies as a prize. I thought I would enter. Um, so basically her criteria is either to name three your three favorite Cary Grant movies or name your three favorite movies that came out prior to 1960 or name your favorite actor who appeared in movies prior to 1960. Um, so, uh, yeah, like I said, I haven't seen all that many Cary Grant movies, unfortunately. I'm a bad classic movie buff. I've seen North by Northwest and Charade, and that's about it. That's all that comes to mind. I might have seen a couple others, but I don't recall what they are. And I don't even recall the ones that I've seen all that well. North by Northwest has some classic stuff in it, but Charade, all I rem really remember about Charade is the very, very last scene. <laughs> um... So, uh, so my, uh, I'm going to go with my three favorite classic films. Um, I would say Dr. Strangelove, except that came out in 1964, which just misses the qualifying period. Um, so instead I'm going to say Paths of Glory, um, which is also by Stanley Kubrick and, uh, is a, a World War I movie about French soldiers. <clears throat> the main character is played by Kirk Douglas. Um, there is a general who, uh, wants to basically, uh, make himself look good by blaming his men on the failure of uh, an advance, a military uh, uh, strategic advance, uh, by uh, some of the uh, ground troops. So he orders uh, that his, um, that his uh, subordinate, Kirk Douglas, um, uh, 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 put together a trial, basically, to try three randomly selected soldiers for cowardice. Um, it's just outrageous, absolutely outrageous. This guy's behavior is monstrous. Um, and uh, I think this is a terrific movie, with the exception that um, these are supposed to be French soldiers, and not only they're all speaking in English, they're all speaking with American accents. Um, but, you know, you can't have everything. Uh, it, it puts it sort of in the same league as uh, the Tom Cruise movie Valkyrie. Uh, but it's still, I like Valkyrie, actually, and I like this movie, too. Um, I, uh, I, I sort of uh, waver between saying this and Casablanca would be my favorite uh, classic film, although I um, like Casablanca a lot. I think Paths of Glory is better. Um, my number two favorite classic film would be Orson Welles' Citizen Kane, which is widely considered to be one of the greatest movies ever made, if not the greatest by pretty much everyone um, you know, who's fond of films from that era. Um, this is, of course, uh, a uh, fictionalized version of the life of William Randolph Hearst, the um, media giant uh, who owned lots of uh, newspapers around the country and radio stations, I believe, as well, owned lots of property, ex incredibly wealthy person. And so um, um, Wells basically fictionalized his life story uh, as uh, this guy, Charles Foster Kane, um, who suffers through two uh, uh, bad marriages and uh, eventually, um, you know, just sort of becomes a recluse uh, in his enormous... Uh, you know, compound, his enormous castle, which he built uh, for himself that was never really completed. The entire movie basically is sort of um, a flashback over the different parts of his life. And it's one of the first movies ever made that is sort of about a man's life rather than about a specific plot with uh, somebody trying to achieve a specific ob objective. A lot of the filmmaking techniques uh, were fairly revolutionary uh, for their time. Uh, very innovative uh, use of camera angles, use of effects and, you know, sets, that kind of thing. Uh, so, yeah, and it's a, a terrific movie. Um, you know, it's uh, Orson Welles is a, a pretty amazing guy. And, uh, yeah, he's made a bunch of good ones, but Citizen Kane is, you know, arguably his best. Um, my favorite classic movie, it's one that goes back to, you know, my childhood, and that's The Wizard of Oz, um, which is directed by Victor Fleming uh, and uh, stars, of course, Judy Garland as Dorothy. Uh, Jack Haley as the Tin Man, um, uh, Bert Lahr as the Scarecrow, and, no, sorry, Ray Bulger as the Scarecrow, and Bert Lahr as the Cowardly Lion, uh, and, of course, Margaret Hamilton as the Wicked Witch of the West. Um, yeah, it's, uh, you know, one of the all-time greats, uh, and, uh, you know, the musical numbers are all great. I just, you know, can't help loving that movie. Like I said, it's a childhood favorite of mine. Um, I'd also like to talk uh, about my favorite actor from the classic periods. Um, and I mentioned Casablanca earlier. Um, there are a lot of actors who I admire throughout the years. 
Um, and some of these come from the classic period, but if I had to pick one guy who I think is just the coolest of all, all of them, that would have to be Humphrey Bogart from Casablanca. Um, I haven't seen many of his movies, but he clearly is like the coolest guy that ever lived, ever, really. I mean, you know, there's him, there's Orson Welles, and there's everybody else. Uh, you know, take the coolest guy you can think of who's appearing in movies now and put him alongside Humphrey Bogart. There's just as no contest. Nobody is, is, is cooler than him. Uh, his voice, you know, his demeanor, you know, everything about him is just amazing. Um, and uh, yeah, I really ought to check out more Humphrey Bogart movies since I like him so much. Um, so uh, this is my entry for Caitlin's contest, uh, and uh, it's a really great prize. So I'd encourage those of you uh, who are watching to uh, check it out as well. Thanks very much, and um, I look forward to uh, seeing who wins in a couple weeks' time. Take it easy.